Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got another tag video. I know. There's been quite a few of them. So, uh, let's turn some lights. Um, I got shadows going on. I apologize. I'm not used to filming this way. So, this is If You Were an Indie Polish Maker Tag. And I was tagged by Georgia's Nails 83. I will link her channel down below so you can go check out her channel. We're going to get started because I'm probably going to get distracted. <sighs> if you were to create your own indie polish, what would you call your brand? It would have to be Moon Baby. Um, that's, that's an easy one. On to number two. What would your first indie collection be and why? And it would all be about the moons. It would be, you know, lunar moon, blue moon, silver moon, you know, moons. It would be moon because it would be my, you know, first collection. I don't know how many would be in it. We might, we'll try to keep it simple. Cotton is in here bugging me. Uh, uh, you know how babies can be. So, number three. Describe one polish from your first collection. Okay, now I don't know how we would get this on the nails or how they would make this work. But I would want it to look something like this. Okay, I'm going to have to turn off some lights so that y'all can see the color. Let's see if we can get this color. But it's kind of like that. This is my moon, by the way. It's kind of that bluey purple, but I would want it to have the texture, too. So that would be very instrating to... <laughs> Some of my kids used to say interesting and straighting. So that's how I would like to have that. Let's get the lights back on and get me back into position. Make sure the camera refocuses. So that's what I would like is something kind of like that gray, blue, moon, purpley color with some texture. Okay. Describe my polish. Okay. Number four, what's your favorite indie polish finish? Um, I'm really into the hollows and the duochromes, but if I had to pick just one, I'd want a really good cream. I love one coat creams that have formulas that level out like a dream. That's, to me, you can't beat that. That's never going to go out of style. So, but I do love that the indie makers get crazy and give us stuff like flakies and crellies and uh, just all the crazy stuff. We get shards and everything else. I love it. Okay. Is there an indie maker who inspires you? Well, this one's very personal. Um, I would say Debbie from Sister Chic Lacquer. She's in, I mean, I'm inspired by all the indie makers. I mean, every one of them. Even the ones I haven't tried. I'm just so impressed that they found their passion, they're following their dream, and they're putting products out there that nobody else has thought of. It's just insane to me. I love it. Love it. Love it. But Debbie's taking it a step further. She's creating. She's, um, but the inspiration mostly comes from the reason behind why she does her brand. Everything goes to charity. Everything goes to making people's lives better. Not just the people that get the products and get to use them and enjoy them, but the money that's made by that is really making a difference for people and that to me is it's the best reason for wanting to do something it's to help others and, and I really I just I just really think Debbie's doing a fantastic job with that I don't want to say it wrong I don't know <laughs> you know sometimes you can't pull your words and I'm having that that kind of a day but Debbie it's making a difference for people, people she'll never meet, people that she will meet. Um, and when you do things like that, it's a selfless act and you're not doing it for praise or or anything. A lot of times it's, you know, you, you, they never know that it was you. And uh, I love that. I think that that's just an amazing thing and a great way to look at life. Next, number six. What's your favorite indie bottle shape and what would you use? Okay, I just said this in one of my last tag videos, but I personally, sorry, I didn't get my chair right. I felt like I was going to fall out of my chair. That would not be good. Um, I, I personally love square bottles. That's just, that's, 
And they don't have to be the big solid squares. I mean, I like, oh, I can't show you that one. <laughs> like squares. I just think they fit in racks and helmers and, and things like that really, really well. Sorry, I'm trying to put stuff away. <laughs> so I would love to use a square bottle. I, I just think that they're, you know, they're easy. Number seven. Is there an indie polish you wish was made slightly different? Nope. <laughs> I am so not going to tell anybody how to do their thing. Um, when we go to look at indies, if we like what we're seeing, we buy them. We're willing to pay that amount of money and shipping and everything because what they're doing is right. And um, I, would, I would never tell a maker what to do. <laughs> Ever. It's not my place. I'm a user. Not a, not a maker, a user. <laughs> um, an indie brand you don't own but would like to try. There's too many to name. I mean, there's just an insane amount of them out there. And that's why I like the Polish Pickup. It's because there's a whole bunch of them together in one place, and you can try all these different brands. And that's what I do when I go purchase from there is I try to... Well, first of all, I'm looking for polishes that, that speak to me, but I try to try brands that I've never tried before, and so that's that's a tricky question. I, I don't have a good answer for that one. Number nine, if you were to do a collaboration with an indie maker, who would it be? I'm going to be real, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I would love to be in on Miss Debbie's um, thought process when she's doing a collection. Because I've never thought of that. You know, I've never thought about um, colors and combos and how to make a collection look right together and, you know, and what goes into it. I mean, I've never I've never thought of playing, playing with making polish. So, I mean, we've all frankened a thing or two, but that's couple of polishes together. You just dump them together and see what you get, you know. Um, but I would love to play with Miss Debbie. I would really, really love that. That would be so much fun. And then number 10 is tag three people. And um, I'm going to put you on hold because I don't want to keep tagging, tagging just the same people over and over. I'm going to go pull me some new three people to tag. I'll be right back. I'm back. <laughs> Okay, I have picked three people, and this is not the only people I want to do this. Like I always say in all of my tag, tag videos are open to anybody. You don't have to be tagged to do them. You can just jump right on in. So I want to tag Joni from Mama Loves Nails. I want to tag Pumpkin from Pumpkin's Nail Station. And Callie from 360 Nails TV. Those are who I am officially tagging here in this video today. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I didn't carry it on too long. Um, I appreciate you coming by and watching and listening to me just ramble. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. So, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.